the Lord is saying to you today that I will tear off their bonds. And those strangers, yes, you never knew them from anywhere. They came around your way. They came around your way and they made you a slave. You never knew them from anywhere and you got into their homes and since that day on you have been doing the unthinkable you have been doing things that are wrong anytime they want to do whatever they want to do yes it seems as if they are at liberty because you have been in captivity because you have been a captive to a stranger yes those people you thought you knew their child of god you never knew them you never knew them and that was why they were doing all the things that they are doing against you today god is saying to you i'm breaking you free i'm setting you free you will no longer be a slave to strangers the word of god says and strangers will no longer make them their slaves their child of god today your life shall be restored your life shall be restored back unto you in the mighty name of jesus you know that you are losing it yes you know every day it is killing you, dear child of God. You know every day it seems as if your mind wants to blow up. Dear child of God, you have been asking God, please come. Please come quickly. Come help me. I'm tired. I'm tired of where I find myself. But you have not been able to help yourself. Yes, those addictions have been keeping you bound. Those habits have been keeping you bound. You have prayed. You have found ways to get out. But you have not been able to get out. Because somehow... It seems as if you're already connected, you're already attached. Somehow it seems as if a covenant has been made. And when you find a way out, you see yourself going back. Today God is saying to you, I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to destroy everything. And the connections, yes, to them, the bridge that leads you back to them, I'm going to break. I'm going to destroy. And you shall see them no more in the mighty name of Jesus. You see those that kept the people of God in captivity. God sent a message to them. He said to them, the enemies you see today, you shall see no more. Yes, this is what God is saying to you today. Those strangers that kept you as a slave, those strangers that have been your captors, dear child of God, for the things you did and the things you did not do, somehow they found you as their prey. Somehow they found you as one that they could control. Every time you don't know why, you don't know how, you make everything you make and you cannot find them because they keep taking everything you have. They keep taking everything you own. Yes, they come manipulating you. They come saying things to you. And by the time you realize everything has been gone from you and you are going back to the beginning, you are going back to ground zero. Dear child of God, you are going back to the level ground and you are so sad. Today, God is saying to you, I'm going to change everything and I'm going to deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus and the things that you're supposed to do. You are going to do them from today. The things I've called you to do, you are going to do them from today. The things you are supposed to pursue, you pursue them from today. Dear child of God, you have lost your own dreams for a long time. You have not been able to do anything that gets you excited anymore. You have not been able to do anything you love because of the situations, because of the things that you found yourself doing today. Everything is changing. He's saying to you, I'm going to undo I'm going to undo what they have done against you. Dear child of God, this is what the Lord is saying. I'm going to undo all of their wickedness. I'm going to undo everything that they have done to keep you bound. You shall be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he would undo the bands of the yoke. He said by the fast he had commanded. He's going to break the bonds of wickedness. He's going to loosen the bonds of wickedness. He said, and you will go free. You will go free from your oppressors, dear child of God. He said, the yoke shall be broken. Believe the word of God. Because today, you shall be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, believe the word of God. For you shall be set free today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord made it known. He made it clear to you. He said to you that every of those slaves, yes, will no longer, will no longer be in slavery. He said to you, every of those strangers that kept you in slavery, will no longer be able to keep you in slavery because he is delivering you. And today you shall see it manifest. He declared it and it shall happen in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, and strangers will no longer make them their slaves. Dear child of God, God will open your eyes to see those people for who they really are in the mighty name of Jesus. You never knew that they were manipulating you for a long time. You never knew, dear child of God. You never knew that they kept you in the place where you are for a long time. 
because they were jealous of you, because they were jealous of your progress, because of they knew the things that you were going to accomplish. So they brought negativity around you. They brought those bad habits around you. They brought those addictions your way so that you become miserable. They have seen something. They saw something great about your life. Yes, they heard you speak and they know that you had a purpose to fulfill. They know you had a cause to pursue and they did everything to change the path. They did everything to change the direction of your life. But today, 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 God is going to deliver you. God is going to set you free. And in the name of Jesus, you will no longer be a slave to strangers. In Jesus' mighty name. Word of God in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8 says, It shall come about on that day, my God. It says, It shall come about on that day, declares the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off their neck. And I will tear off their bonds. And strangers will no longer make them their slaves, my God. Dear child of God, you have been a slave for a long time. He says, today, strangers will no longer make you a slave. Dear child of God, you have not been able to enjoy your life because you have been a slave. Today, God is saying to you, you are no longer a slave. It was clear. It was specific what the Lord said. He said, the Lord of hosts, he will come to break the yokes. He will break their yoke. He will break his yoke off your neck and tear off their bones. And then he said, you will no longer be a slave to strangers. Dear child of God, he said it clear. So which means there are some strange people. There are some strange people that kept you locked. There are some strange people that kept you bound. There are some strange people that kept you in the place of oppression. There are some strange people that kept you in the place of bondage. There are some strange people that kept you every day doing what you have not loved. Yes. The things that you have not been pleased with, but you seem not to have control over it. Yes, it means that there have been some strange people that make you do the things that you always hate. Yes, you know that you have never loved those things, but you found yourself doing them because of those strange people that made you a slave. Today, the Lord is saying to you, I'm delivering you. I'm setting you free from those strange demons, from those strange enemies from those strange entities, from those strange people, those strange personalities, yes, because you thought you knew them before, you thought you knew them. So now they have become so strange, the things they suggest to you, you are wondering where is it coming from? But you seem to be under their mercy, you seem to be under their cage, you seem to be a lawful captive to them. But they, God knows how to deal with them. God knows how to deliver you. God knows how to set you free. And it's going to set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to set you free. Dear child of God, I believe the word of God and I know that this is for you. Dear child of God, you have not been proud of yourself. You have not been able to live your life in full because of all the things that have been done. Yes, today God is saying to you, it has come about on that day. Declares the Lord that I will break his yoke. Yes, those people that made you to become a shadow of yourself. They made you do wrong things every day. Yes, they have made you do wrong things since you know them. Today, God is going to deliver you from them. God is going to sever you from them. God will take them far away from you. Dear child of God, you will not have contact with them anymore because the time of your deliverance has come. You don't know how it will happen, but it will happen. Yes, you have been asking God to deliver you. Yes, you have not loved the life that you have been living, but the same as if you do not have control, you have not had control over it. For a long time, you have been a captive. You have been in captivity. Dear child of God, you have indeed been a lawful captive because you know everything you have done wrong. Because you know everything that you have done wrong, dear child of God. You know what you partook in. You know the things that you did that kept you locked, that kept you trapped, and you kept on using it against you. Yes, you have been there and then you have not been able to move forward. Yes, you may have found yourself in that state that you didn't like. You may have been a slave to sin. Today, God is saying, He's declaring to you, I'm breaking those yokes of sin. I'm taking you out of bondage. The bondage of iniquity, dear child of God. You found yourself in some addictions. Yes, you were introduced by it and somehow you found yourself locked in those addictions, in those bondage, in those chains that made you feel ashamed every day. It's going to set you free and you'll enjoy your life again. In Jesus' mighty name.
Amen. So get set. Get set to see God do amazing things in your life. To loosen the bonds of wickedness. To destroy the works of darkness. The works of the enemies. Yes. Those things that made you not to want to come to the light. Because of the things you do in darkness. Those things that have kept you trapped in darkness. That made you not to want to come to the light. Because you always feel ashamed. You always feel bad with yourself. Dear child of God, yes, you feel so terrible many times. You feel like ending everything. But today, God had brought your deliverance. God had set you free. God is uplifting you. God is going to give you a new name, dear child of God. God is going to give you a new name, dear child of God. Because your story is changing. Your story is changing. It will not be what they knew of you before, yes. It will no longer be what they knew of you before. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not be able to recognize you again because the Lord God of heaven would have transformed you and made you a better person, no longer a slave to them. In Jesus' mighty name, today, the spirit of strange bondages, God is destroying in the mighty name of Jesus. The powers that have held you down, those strange powers that held you bound, today, they shall be broken in Jesus mighty name. In Job 31 verse 3, the word of God says, is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity. My God, he said a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity. Dear child of God, that time has come for them to be punished. And then the scriptures called it a strange punishment to those who are workers of iniquity, to those who are workers of evil, dear child of God, they have been iniquitous in their ways. They have done everything to bring you down. You have been wondering, what did I do to them? What did I do to them that they hate me this much? Today, the Lord wants you to know that that strange punishment that they deserve is coming upon them. And every single one of them will not be able to fight against you anymore. They would not be able to carry out their evil plans and attacks against your life anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That time has come for God to stand and fight for you and every one of them that wanted you destroyed. Dear child of God, every one of them that wanted you pained, every one of them that wanted you to sorrow, they shall receive the full wrath of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, that he will be incensed against them. He will be angry for what they are doing and he will prove them guilty for their wickedness and evil. And today, every of their evil shall not be prolonged anymore. It shall not be sustained. It shall not continue. And they shall be punished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, this is the portion of a wicked man from God and the heritage appointed unto him by God. Job 20 verse 29. It says there is a portion to the wicked that God sends to the wicked. And because they refuse to stop, because they refuse to end their evil practices, that portion will be coming upon them. That thing that they will not be able to recover from will be coming upon them. And so their end will meet them quickly because they refuse to stop. They have been fighting against you for no reason. You are asking them every day, what have I done to you? But there is nothing. There is nothing pungent. There is nothing. There is nothing you can see that you have done. There is nothing that is making sense why they hate you. But today, dear child of God, the Lord is saying enough is enough. That time has come for me to avenge for my own. That time has come for me to fight the battles of my own. You see, you have cried night and day. The word of God in Luke 18 verse 7 says that that God who knows about your cry, yes, he knows that you have cried night and day for him to avenge you. He says, would he not avenge you speedily? That time has come for God to avenge for you. And you will discover every of those people who are chosen to do you evil, every of those people who have ill-treated you, Every of those people who had brought oppressions your way. Every of those people who had caused you to be pained. You shall receive the punishment of God in full. The full wrath of God is coming upon them. And they shall not be able to escape. None of them will be able to escape it. In the mighty name 
of Jesus. They were wicked against Daniel. They did everything to see that he suffers. They made sure he was thrown into the lion's den, dear child of God. I mean, they were brutal. They were mean. They were wicked. They wanted him destroyed by all means. And there is no other punishment they thought of but to throw him into the lion's den so that he would die an excruciating death, so that he would die in pain, so that he would suffer. But you see, God arose for him. And every of those wicked ones had the destruction that they intended against Daniel. God made sure that that punishment, he says, is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity. You see, that punishment came not just to them, but also to their words, to the people that are connected to them. And God brought Daniel out. God made sure Daniel was vindicated. Dear child of God, God made sure Daniel was just not restored to his place, but rather he was promoted and taken even higher. Dear child of God, this is how God will let them know that he is fighting for you. They have done everything to pull you down, but the next time they will see you, they will discover you have gone far ahead from where they had pulled you down from. And the destruction, the punishment, the things that they deserve, they are going to get the portion of their wickedness. They are going to get. They would eat from their own desert. Yes, the desert of their wickedness they will eat from in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, I will return to them their violent dealings. Yes, it would be returned back onto them. And they will feel the pains of the blows. Yes, the things that they have inflicted you with, they will begin to feel the pain. If it was nice for them to have done it to you, dear child of God, that time has come for them to begin to experience it. All the things that they had caused you to suffer, the things that they had caused you to lament about, that time has come for it to return back onto them. This is how they'll be punished. They'll begin to experience the same things that you have suffered. And then they would know that wickedness is evil. And if they repent, then God will show them mercy. And they will not be able to do that anymore. It says, woe, woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with them. It shall not be well with them. This is the word of God. He's saying it shall not be well with them. But for you who have been just, who have been righteous, he says your reward are with God. Your reward are in the hands of God. And it would make sure you are not denied any further the blessings that you deserve. Dear child of God, God knows that you have waited patiently to see that they will change. God knows that you have waited, you have prayed for their salvation, but they refused to change. They did not want to change. They even vowed and told you over their dead body, would they stop haunting you? Would they stop fighting against you? Yes, they were mean. They told you every day they are going to bring pains your way. They are going to cause you to sorrow. They are going to cause you to suffer. Dear child of God, that time has come for every of those adversaries of yours. Every of those adversaries of yours that wouldn't want you be, that wouldn't want you to enjoy your life, that time has come for them to be proven guilty. And today, they will get the full wrath of the punishment in the mighty name of Jesus. They will discover things is suddenly going off for them. Yes, they will discover the voice that they thought they had. They will not have any more. They will discover the influence that they thought they had. Their child of God, they will not have any more. They would discover the things that they had used to bring you down and manipulate people they will not have anymore and this is how god will strip them off all the powers that they had and they will receive the full wrath of the punishment of god they did everything to fight against daniel but you see daniel succeeded and every one of them were punished he did not do anything against them this is what you must understand it was about his business. He was doing everything he needed to do. He was taking his job very seriously. And so he was promoted every time because he was doing well. But guess what? These people were hungry. They were not happy because they discovered he was being promoted. They were angry because he was making progress. He was not concerned about them. I'm sure if they did their work as well very good, they could all have been promoted the same way. But you see, these other eunuchs will start fighting against him, bringing decrees and laws so that he would be disoriented and discomfited, 
so that he would not be able to get his balance in especially his God. But guess what? God made sure they were exposed. God made sure they were punished. And God made sure they were dealt with for all the things that they had planned against him. Dear child of God, keep doing what you are doing. Yes, you know you are doing what is necessary. You are receiving the blessing that you deserve. And yet, they are fighting you. They are angry with you. God is going to avenge for you. Keep doing what you are doing. Keep being as excellent as you would be. Keep being as diligent as you would be, dear child of God. They will get the full wrath of the punishment that they deserve. And this is how life will be restored back unto you. This is how you would enjoy wholeness. This is how you would enjoy peace of mind that you deserve. God is behind everything that you would have as victories, dear child of God. He's going to help you through. And it's going to make sure you succeed. Despite all of their wickedness and evil, dear child of God, God will make sure that you succeed and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So do not be afraid what they say they will do against you. Do not be afraid what they want to do.